hey, tell them what we're going to do today. in the car for two hours no what else are we gonna do we're gonna go what's it called hootin hollering the hootin the the 2d show the the the, the cutie patootie the do review oh, that was close in orlando we have no idea what it is but this was a gift to him for his birthday it's like a dinner show that's all we know so if you come along with us we will take you there. One of us headed to Pioneer Hall for the Doo Review. I woke up at 6 a.m. a few weeks ago. These are hard tickets to get. We got tickets for his birthday. We thought like, what? Half the people on that bus had no idea this was a bus stop. <laughs> well, they didn't like announce anything. <laughs> I was like, I guess we're here. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they can rent a golf cart somewhere after because all these campsites in here supposedly have like Halloween decorations and stuff. I'll set up. I will say this, like taking that bus ride, I didn't realize how big Disney, how much land Disney owns pretty much. How big this wilderness area is. It's huge, right? Yeah. It's like a good eight minute bus ride from the entrance. Yeah, yeah, it was only like 8, 10 minutes. It wasn't 30 minutes, right? No. Come on down to the Hoop Dee Doo Review. All you can eat home style fiddles. That's right, fiddles. Chow down on fried chicken and smoked pork ribs. I can't. I can't help reading this with a southern accent. Plenty of side fixings and Ma's famous dessert. Wet your whistle with beer, wine, and sodas. Plant based offers will be available upon So, our reservation's at when? <coughs> Four o'clock? Four o'clock. And we got here at, right now it's like 3 40 ish. Yeah, they tell you you're supposed to be here around 30 minutes before the show starts to so. check in. They even have like a bar out here where you can get a drink. Yeah, so we're pretty much chilling outside with the others, waiting for our turn. Many golf carts, like every. Yeah, and some of them are decorated. See, look, that one's decorated over there. Oh yeah, the one all the way over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, this one is too. Happy birthday! Look, that's decorated with the birthday. Here, if I can zoom back out, just a lot of little different benches and just people waiting until it's their turn to get in. We sat down, they already uh, had the salad ready, cornbread, barbecue sauce, and, uh, oops, I'm getting tangled here, coleslaw, and our silverware. I like that it's up here, because you have people in front of you. Yeah, we got set at the, the second floor, in the center. Throw, so, I guess it was numbers one through 99 reservations go on the first floor and everything else up here on the second, I guess. I'm not sure, but let me get you a better view right there. So not bad, we're at the center. So how's the salad and cornbread so far? It's good. Salad has like a vinaigrette. It's really good. It's like your standard Disney salad, but it's good. Um, it's got cheese, tomatoes, cucumbers. And the cornbread? Cornbread's really good. Unlimited drinks. And that includes like sangria, wine, and beer, I think. And then soda. Uh, I ended up getting the sangria. Mm. It's really good. Look at that. It comes with all these mason jars. Yeah. The water. Uh -huh. This is the Sprite. So I asked about renting a golf cart. 
school that you have to actually reserve them with your reservation when you're actually staying here. So they don't rent them out if you're not staying here. They used to, so I don't know if it's something that changed during the COVID, but you used to be able to rent one and then drive around and look at all the decorations. But I guess you have to actually be staying here. Now. What you noticed is that if you're on the second floor, notice these people right now, they're, they're facing the wall with their seats. And then same thing on the other side too here. Another thing that uh, Sherry just mentioned is that she thinks we probably got bumped. Right, hon? Yeah, I think I see Better see her. Yeah, we should be uh, downstairs, but I guess we'll walk out. Maybe it's because um, we were a party of two. A lot of families over here. Like families of four, five. They brought all this food out to us. <laughs> ribs, fried chicken, baked beans, or salad, mashed potatoes, cornbread. They give me barbecue sauce, coleslaw, and mac and cheese. What do you think between the ribs or the chicken? Which one's no, better? I like them both. You didn't get that. No, it's for trick or treating. You put your candy in it. It's not for trick or treating, is yeah. it? Yeah, it's at the um for the. You can put whatever in there. No, no it's for the. The, the Halloween. Boo, Mickey Boo. Not so scary. Yeah. And here's the camping supplies. Yeah, you can buy firewood, charcoal. I think a bacon is 14.99. 
Disney bacon. Look at that. Disney bacon, folks. Look, look at the price on that. <laughs> Right. Look at a, a thing of yogurt. One of those things of yogurt. Eight dollars. Wow. Goes. A little fairy. All right. So, what did you think? I Up liked it. I thought it was good. Yeah. Yeah. What about? Let's start with the the food first of all. Um, they first served us the salad, cornbread, and um, what was it? A coleslaw. Coleslaw. The coleslaw is alright, but I'm not a big coleslaw person. Yeah. What about the cornbread? Cornbread was good. Salad was good. Don't yeah. fill up. If I suggest that yeah. you come, don't fill up on that. Because after that, they bring um, fried chicken, ribs, baked beans, mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese. They bring all of that. So don't fill up yeah. on um, the salad and the cornbread. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Definitely don't fill up too much on the salad because, um, you know, if you blink, boom, they fill, they, they start throwing at you the barbecue and the, the fried chicken and all this other food and, and just plates of food keep coming out <laughs> and it was a lot. Right. And then you have the dessert too, so. Yeah. Um, I thought the ribs were good. I thought the fried chicken was really good. I mean, it was greasy, but that's fried chicken for you. Anywhere, it's greasy. So I thought it was really good. The chicken wasn't dry. Um, I really liked it. And then they brought out the strawberry shortcake. shortcake. And that was so big, we couldn't finish it for two people. I mean, it was huge. And that was really good. So all in all, I think it was totally worth the money. Um, I would totally do it again. The problem is it's really hard to get a reservation. So I had to keep like checking and checking and checking. And the time I got it was like at 6 a.m. on a weekday morning. It just popped up and it grabbed it. So you have to keep checking because there's only three shows a day. And I think it's only like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I think. So very limited. Yeah. And the thing is, like when they hand out the strawberry shortcake, it's a huge cake. It's a lot, right? Mm -hmm. um, and the thing is, it's at the like last scene of the show, and you don't have much time to eat it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just a reminder: if you do go to the show and they hand out you that strawberry shortcake, um, you have very little time to actually consume it. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. And you can eat throughout the show, but they also have small little breaks of the show in between, so don't feel like you can only eat while the show's going because they do have like little breaks in between right. where like intermissions where you can eat kind of need that in order to you know you, you can't it's hard to just focus on the food and then focus on the singing and the performances at the same time so it's smart of them to do that to just have a moment to give people a guest the ability to just focus on the food and then uh, wait a few minutes and then boom, watch the next set of scenes. And one thing I would say about the actual show, they really engage the audience. There's a lot of participation from the audience that's involved. So it's not just them on stage performing, like they're out in the audience, they're doing things with the audience. Yeah, they're asking the uh, guest questions, stuff like that. I would have to say that, like, when I, like, coming in, I thought it was going to be just your, your typical musical, and I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to be into this. But then, you know, surprisingly enough, they interweave a, a, a lot of uh, comedy and improv into it. And they actually invite the audience to interact and contribute to some of the scenes. And it makes the whole entire thing funny. I thought it was quite funny. I, I laughed a lot in it. And so did you. You loved the, the whole jamboree part, right? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Was yeah. So, all in all, I would definitely do it again. Um, I don't know about him because he wasn't so excited coming into it, even though it was... I ended up liking it. That's what I'm saying. I ended up liking it. See? Right, see? Thank you very much to my wonderful, wonderful girlfriend here for for um, taking me out for a really good time and uh, participating in my first jamboree. Yeah. All right, we're going to go check out some more of the Fort Wilderness, and uh, we'll see you guys in a few. Look at that. Oh, look at that. 
so many decorations. That one is even animated. Look at that. That's a mansion. That's a nice one. I haven't seen that one. Look at that. Bubba Fett. Or is that the Mandalorian? Gather round, sisters. <laughs> so many decorations. This is only one little loop of the yeah. of the campground. Well, a lot of them repeat. Don't you see something unique like this one? Mm -hmm. It's very unique. It's like a zombie unicorn arch. <laughs> That's another little airstream. Very nice. Where's the witches? That's on the comments. Just an endless sea of golf carts. <laughs> I've never seen so many golf carts in my life. All right, I'm gonna try to get closer, but guys, look. I think that's a deer. That's a deer, right? Oh, wait, no. That's an old man. Yep, oh, that's a deer. It's like, in the, I look in the corner of my eye, I was like, is that a deer? <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, just, you know, munching on something. Very beautiful. Look at that, he's just munching, chilling while there's traffic coming through here. He zoom out. Look at that. He just doesn't care. I would think he would be scared and just, you know, skedaddle. He was watching the kids here kind of close to him, but... He's probably like used to seeing humans and stuff, right? Because we're not we're not exactly away from much civilization, right? <laughs> like there's like a horse stable right there, and a bus stop right there, and a parking lot right there. Look at that. People don't even notice. People don't even notice. They're not even stopping by. <laughs> So bizarre. I just want to show you a closer view of the horse stable. Horses. Oh. Horse stable. Mm -hmm. Horses are big. So do Disney own these horses then? I guess. These are Disney horses? They're probably the horses that they use for the carriage rides. Maybe. So you hardly see those anymore. See what? The carriage you're talking about the carriage rides around here or inside the theme park? Everywhere. Mm. The theme park and here. They just did a carriage ride where we just were at. But... Yeah, in here, but not in the like Magic Kingdom. Yeah, they do in the parade. Do they? Yeah. I haven't seen that in a long time. Sometimes they have the princesses in them. Hmm. Thought all that's been automated. She doesn't like the robots taking over, folks. <laughs> yeah, Abby, so the review, our end review of this is it was excellent. We would totally come back. Now I really want to stay in this campground. I think it's kind of cool. After walking around and looking at everything, I really would like to come and actually stay a weekend in the campground, bring the dog. I think it'll be fun. Yeah, on the way back to our parking lot, um, got a sense of how big it is right mm -hmm. it's huge it is huge and you could take a boat from here over to the magic kingdom or you could take a bus um they have again where you could rent the golf carts they have buses all over the place um this place really really is big like and i can't believe that it's sold out with how big it is and golf carts 
everywhere. Yeah. And there is a company I heard, if you don't have an RV and you want to stay in a camper or RV, you can rent from them and they will actually deliver it and set it up and you can get a golf cart through them as well. So I don't know the name of the company, but I am going to research that, but they will drop it off, hook it up, do everything for you. I mean, of course you have to bring your own stuff and all of that. But... And uh, take a second mortgage. but. Well, we don't know. We don't know how much it is. I haven't even looked into it. But I do know there is a place that does that. So um, if you want to do your own research, let us know. Or if you've ever done it, let us know because this is new to us. So anyhow, we are going to head back to Tampa now. So we will see you in our next destination. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell icon. And, um, yeah, leave us a comment. Tell us what you thought.